So what is paint on cheese wax? Basically, so when you buy this for me, you'll get a silicone brush to go with it. And you just want to just gently paint it. You don't need to pour the thing. You don't need a whole ton of it. You need to get a solid coat. You need to let that dry and then come back and do another solid coat over the whole of the cheese. Uh, do this on something that's not porous. Trust me, don't do this directly on kitchen paper. I tend to find if you go in both directions, then uh, if there are any cracks, it will get into those. It's a lot less messy than liquid wax, which you have to heat. And also this contains a mold prohibitor, which is called natamycin. So this does not completely block off all air exchange. This isn't like vacuum sealing your cheese. So your cheese will still lose some moisture. You still do need to watch the humidity, but it should be a lot less likely to go moldy. And if it does, you can see through it. So I'm gonna do the top, then all the way around the side, let it dry. Then I'm gonna flip it over. Um, the piece that hasn't been done is the bottom, which will become the top. I will then do that. If you put your paintbrush inside a Ziploc bag and close it with no air, that will stay wet until you come back to do your second coat. You'll have to wash it, dry it, all that fun stuff. So um, pop your lid on, because this is air sensitive, obviously it will dry. And um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back for the first coat on the bottom and again around the sides. Paying particular attention to this surface because it's got some gaps. It's not a perfectly flat closed rind. You can still use this product. It's perfectly fine. Just have to really work it into those holes, crevices, gaps. Uh, I wouldn't use a standard pastry brush because uh, you'll leave hairs everywhere. Generally, I do four coats around the outside and uh, two coats on each of the main flat surfaces. Another thing to bear in mind is if your cheese coating looks like this, with a very separate liquid and solid value, uh, you're going to want to discard that. It's gotten frozen. This is a temperature sensitive product. I won't mail this November, December, January or February, uh, just because if it does get frozen, it sets like this and you can't use it. You would need to throw that away. Uh, if you ever get one like this from me, then contact me and I will refund or replace.